M Rec TV. Uh, Shaq on Twitter. Yeah. Do you have a different opinion on that? Yeah. Uh, Jamel, is work, he works extremely hard. He's coming here and doing so much for us as a player. Uh, he only wants to be respected just like anybody else. And I understand that Shaq works for a company that you know, wants him to do that type of stuff and make fun of players. And, it's cool and funny, but we just keep doing it time and time and time again for no reason. Yeah, and then a guy actually disagrees with you and you threaten them. I ain't no cops can threaten civilians like that. So, you know, it's definitely childish. And, but, you know, that's what, they, that's what they want from these stars and these retired players is to, you know, feud with the guy that's playing now and make arguments and disagreements. But if I was Javel, I'd feel the same way as Charles. Steve said it was, you know, it had the potential to kind of mess up his money. It has, it has. You know, yes. you know I think uh, Shaq wants to make a joke about it, but if it was him in, a, in, a, in you know in that position, you know, he would feel the same way. You know what I mean? And we would call him a bum and all this just because you, you know, you're such a great player, obviously. But still, everybody can't beat Shaq. You know what I'm saying? He's making, he's trying to make his money and. And you know, enjoy the game of basketball. And this perception of him now is that he's a dumb player, or because he, he makes mistakes out on the court. Shaq is a shitty free throw shooter. He missed dunks. He airballed free throws. He can't shoot. He couldn't shoot outside the paint. He's bigger than everybody. He had no skill, but he was bigger and stronger than everybody. And he's still a great player. But you had your flaws too as a player. And he played on five or six teams too. So it's not like he's just this perfect you know, center. You had your flaws too. So. Like I said, I ain't no cops can go on TV and th- I mean, go on Twitter and threaten civilians like that. And I'm glad you're very childish. Did you, did you know Javel before this year? Yeah, I know. I know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I think a lot of people, a lot of people didn't know him here. I think would say that when they get a chance to meet him, the perception of him is different. You know, a lot of that comes from stuff that like highlights on TV. And stuff. Yeah, because I mean, you don't see when he dunks on somebody and he blocks a shot in the stand. It's got a music. It's got a music. It's got a- Niggas on the left, rag shit to death. Uh-huh. Bitches on the right, wild for the night. Let's go. Niggas on the left, uh-huh. ra- rag shit to death. Bitches on the right, wild, wild, wild for the night. Okay. Niggas on the left, fresh to the death. Ooh. While bitches on the right, style for the night. Nice. We hanging out the window, smoking loud for the night. It's sex, money, and drugs. Wow, that's the life. Like a condom, let me put you on to the lifestyle. Thoughts can't be trusted, living tight foul. You need to have the toast on you right now. The wool smell blood on a night prowl. That good loud sin is what it's smelling like. Yeah, it's m Rack, you know I'm on my New York shit But it's that motivation when you paper chasing the grip And got the best product out, and you killing the strip I taught the money gymnastics, I'm making it flip Hit the block hard, yes, early morning on the wake up Betty Crocker cook skills, help me get my cake up hey, Subscribe to m Rack TV, youtube.com Slash m Rack TV I'm gone m TV. It's got a music. It's got a music.